Every year on Earth Day, the world joins together to help make our planet a better place. Some plant their garden, pick up trash, or try to monitor their waste. Eating healthy, minimally processed foods can actually help the environment too. Celebrating Earth Day is a wonderful way to bring your family together and educate the kids about the importance of going green and eating clean. Nutritionist and author Megan Keltner is here to show us how to make healthy choices that are healthy for the environment as well. So how do, how do my food choices impact the environment? Well, everything has a trail behind it. Okay. And so the food choices we make have a trail, and whether it's a chemical trail, or whether it's the impact on the farmers, how far the food has traveled, okay. the packaging that goes into it, that all leaves a wake behind it that will impact the health of our planet. So we're talking about the footprint of, of your food. Exactly. So when I buy produce from Mexico, let's say, that has a much larger uh, footprint than something that was grown here. Right, it's actually taken more calories and fossil fuel to get that food to you than okay. you actually get consuming it. It's not a sustainable way to choose our food. Okay, so now we're trying to change how we're thinking. Let's start off with uh, some tips on how to green my diet. Okay. So one of the first great tips okay. is to make from scratch what you would normally buy in packaging. Now when you say that to me, the first thing I think, and because I mean we are a culture of convenience and that's right. part, we have to change part of that mindset, but it sounds more difficult, is it? No. Okay. No. And it's more delicious and it's quicker than going to the store to make it yourself. All right. So, so what have you made here? So what we have here is a homemade granola taking honey and oats that. and nuts and seeds, mm -hmm. toasting it together and you're good. And we know that when we buy a package of cereal, if you have a big family, two breakfasts and it's empty. That's a very good point. And it's incredibly expensive. Incredibly cereal is incredibly expensive. expensive. Exactly. Okay. And then here's a homemade hummus, which is really just chickpeas lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, blended together, and you're good. And to your taste, too. I think that's important. For sure. You and can do it however you want. so much fresher. Okay. And this is just an almond milk. Okay, so perfect. a lot of the almond milks you buy in the store come in the cartons, also have extra preservatives you may not want. You pop in the fruit, almond milk, and good to go. Good to go. And so, you're actually way healthier up because of this, too. Well, that's the side benefit. <laughs> the side benefit. And so we have this now, no packaging, no single-use plastic products that get tossed out. Okay. So let's talk about my lunch. I come to work every day. Uh, now, this is something I'm proud to say I do. do yes, this. yeah. So what? why do we want to tote bag our lunch? We take out without. So tote bag your lunch, less plastic bags that get wasted, less plastic gets thrown out. You can reuse your utensils. You can have bamboo utensils. Oh, see, that's something I didn't even think about. That is fantastic. Yeah, and we actually, you know, we, my husband and I have been traveling. We travel with our bamboo utensils, so when we're eating our food on the plane, we have those. We don't have to use the plastic. How many people look over at you and ask you about it? Does that happen a lot? No, but it should. It should. I would be like, oh, cool. We've got these bamboo sporks. That doesn't everyone want those? <laughs> don't you? And so another great thing is to use uh, protein powder. Make your own smoothies at home. So I love the Fermented Vegan Protein Plus. Mm -hmm. from Genuine Health, and I will always pack and this, this our, it's okay. <laughs> our lunch bag got floppy. I will always pack and take a smoothie to go in a oh. mason jar, glass straw uh, as well. A, a glass straw too, a yeah. Glass straw. And once again, you've kept it life more convenient for me because the smoothie exactly. is easy and fast. All right, now, another thing I love doing, batch prepping. Yes. Tell me what that is. So important. So what I love to do, and I will also produce shop in my reusable bags, another right. place people use a lot of plastic. Mm -hmm. But so we'll reuse our mason jars, make soups in large batches, freeze them, leave two inches at the top to make room for freezing. Okay, good and tip. And batch prep your vegetables so they're ready to go. Another one of my favorite ones for that smoothie is to keep jars of all your smoothie ingredients ready to go, throw them in the blender, blend it up, put it back in the jar, and you're as good Why is batch prepping better for the environment? Less food waste. 14% 14, uh, 14 of municipal landfill is food waste. Twenty-seven billion dollars worth of food ends up in the landfills That's every so year scary. in Canada. To me too, if you're making something, I think it takes as much time to make a large batch as a small, and so you're using less energy in general. Less time, less energy, less food waste, better for your health, better for the planet, all in my book, Undiet. Undiet, and a new one coming out in October. That's right. Congratulations, Thank Megan. Thank Fantastic stuff. Undiet. Think about it.